So I have a very real question. And that is, a lot of people want to talk about how the United States is a meritocracy. And so what meritocracy means is that whatever you get in this life, whatever you get in the United States is based on your merit. It's based on how hard you work, who, not, who, not on who you are, not on where you were born or whatever, uh, not on your beliefs. It's based on how you perform. Yes. And so that's what a meritocracy is supposed to be. If the United States is a meritocracy, then I have a very real question. Then why is Colin Kaepernick sit, not signed up with any football team right now? Who Colin Kaepernick, if you don't know, is an NFL, a former NFL quarterback. He's the guy um, who is noted for, he's not the person that started it necessarily, but he's the guy who's noted for taking a knee during the national anthem in order to protest um Black Lives Matter type of issues um, and whatnot. I wanted to, to protest in the United States flag um, to, to try to motivate uh, people to create real reform around race and ethnicity issues, right? And so Colin Kaepernick is now not signed with any team. His, his, his contract ran out. And he's going around shopping around for these other teams, and he's not getting any love right now. Uh, and I, look, I, let me let me be very clear to you. Colin Kaepernick is not Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers or I mean, hell, even Eli Manning. I, I'm I'm good. I'm for real. Or uh, you know, or Philip Rivers. I, I get that. I get that he's not necessarily at that level, but he is sure to hell better than. I would, I surely would say that he's a hell of a lot better than any second string quarterback uh, that's in the NFL. And I would even argue, and many people on you know ESPN and whatnot um, would argue that he could actually start for a few teams in the NFL right now um, if they would just give him a fair chance and, and sign him up. But the reason why the NFL has seemingly blackballed him, has seemingly put him on the bad people list, do not sign him up, is because they feel like, well, actually research has demonstrated um, that um, that his protest has actually made the NFL rankings dip down a little bit, right? And a little bit, a lot, depending on who you are and how you assess this, but Colin Kaepernick's protest has had an effect on NFL ratings uh, in regards to uh, how many people are watching and whatnot. And so then I have a question. What do you do? What do you do when there's a person who is obviously talented and good enough to start on a few teams in the NFL, and but their, but their protest is not letting you make as much money? I thought this was supposed to be a meritocracy, but obviously it's not. It's obviously... A raceocracy, because um, unless you can stay quiet and not say anything about racism, because you can say plenty of other things, uh, 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 social justice, political issues and whatnot. I mean, for crying out loud, the NFL has a, not that this is necessarily a social justice issue, but they have a breast cancer awareness week uh, during it and all of that stuff. And so you can obviously, as an NFL, take certain stands on things, but for whatever reason, racial justice issues, especially Black Lives Matter type of issues, this doesn't seem to be uh, in full accord or uh, to con uh, that they want they don't want to seem to sanction stuff like this. But here's the deal. Here's a really sticky part. And I really need you all to think about this is that the Colin Kaepernick the, or the, the protesting the United States flag, this thing is not going away. And if the and if the players in the league actually figure out that they actually have way more power in this than what people are, than what people make it seem like they have power. Um, it's this thing is going to really take off because we already got uh, Derek Carr and Malik Mack uh, showing solidarity from the Raiders. Um, they did that. And this is now this is black and white folks, right? It's like it's a black person and then a white person, like they stand in and showing solidarity in this space. Not that they're agree not that the, necessarily that they're agreeing or that the white person is agreeing with the black person in regards to their protest, but they want them to understand that this is a very real thing and that they as a white person are concerned about the issues that their other uh teammates are concerned about, right? The Seahawks with Justin Britt and Michael Bennett, that that happened. Eagles, Chris Long and Malcolm Jenkins, this stuff is not not going away, folks. And so I guess I'm, I'm asking you back the question, is the NFL really a meritocracy? Do, do they need to, how are they going to handle this? Because this is going to be critical in moving forward in regards to how we view ourselves as Americans even, I would argue. And so anyway, you don't need to believe any of that. But for real, the United States and football, the uh, America and football, they just go hand in hand. They just do. And so how the NFL handles this is lets me know 
how America is going to handle this. Just saying. So anyway, like, subscribe, share. Go to BruceHoskins.com if you want to know more about who I am and what I do. Peace, y'all.